Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crop Queen, and today I'm going to show you my latest project. And first of all, I'm going to show you how large this album is. So you can see it's a landscape album. And this is a 9 by 7.5 inch in centimeters, that's 23 by 19 centimeters. And the spine is 10 centimeters and 4 inches. So it's not a mini, but I do like the size of that. And um, so yeah, I don't want to brabble too much, so let's dig in. No, right, so the front. I used this image and I painted myself. I looked up a nice image on Pinterest and I tried to um, paint that. And yeah, I think it's quite, it's not perfect, but hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, so, um, so okay, the front has lots of layers, as you can see, white of uh, black and, and purple, lots and lots of layers. And um, the spine, yes, I do like the spine to have this ribbon on each corner. I do love that. And I thought, why not do that again? I love chunky charms, so I made a nice chunky charm with lots of pearls and crystals and even a shell. So I do love that. And on the back, it's pretty plain. Ugh, I'm going to show you. It's pretty plain, plain. So you still can add a nice picture on the back. So that's that for the cover. So let's go inside. Okay, so let's open this up and let's go to the first page. So as you can see, I call this Mystery C mini album. And I normally I would do this on the front, but I think the front is already so nice and not much space for anything on there. So I put that in the first um, page. So the first page is a big pocket. As you can see, I always love that. So you can add loads of things in here. Uh, nice booklets, tags, um, all kind of things you can put in here. Who does not love lots of tags? Nice bead on here. I cut out also some nice sea theme uh, images that I thought would be nice, like mermaids, turtles, and all kind of stuff. All right, here at the bottom, I made that uh, flower myself. It I will show you in the tutorial. Made a little bow and I decorated with some uh, pearls and rhinestones. I think it's a nice, nice first page. Now the next page is yeah quite fun. It it is fun. All right. So the first thing I made is this uh, seahorse with rhinestones and I'm going to show you in the tutorial how I did that. So I made a see-through pocket uh, with a tag in here and it's so nice to do this. I do love that. I must say I want to do this more often. I do like it. It's, it's actually an old hobby of mine so it's so cool. So I thought why not put that in this album and look at the shine of it. It shines. Cool. All right, now the first one has a pocket with two tags in here. Put this back in here. Then you flip this. You have a nice spot for photo. There's a little tuck spot with a nice spot for photo. Then in here we have also a nice booklet. Lots of place for photos in here, guys. So many. And then you put this back in and then you have again a nice photo spot and again a nice big one and then in here a nice big tag with also a nice bead on and the back is the same put this back in and then again some nice um, cover up with the leftovers you know I like that to do and on here you can still 
I did not glue this down so you still can add your picture behind this nice what's that the lobster I just call it a lobster forgive me if that's not the right word crab lobster I don't know but I call it like that <laughs> so in the complete album you will see nice images coming back each time now in each page we have a big tag or a big photo mark how you want to call it where you can write something down you can add pictures on loads of things you can do with just a simple tag all right then we go to this page see i love this one i made my own fishnet <laughs> so you can add uh, tags in here you can add um, all kind of things in photo mats booklets journals i do love it and how i did that it's in the tutorial so you can put loads of things in here you can put something sideways and you even can glue down a photo on these square ones so that's totally up to you you can put something from the top inside lots of possibilities i thought that will be <laughs> yeah it's odd but i like it in this album you will see lots of things that's probably not used to be in an album but i love it all right so let's go to the next page next page is first of all we have two little tags on top just small fun tags where you can add a little photo or you can write something down then in here there is also a little pocket with a little booklet inside for a little secret then this goes down so you can open this now you have to move this up to open this also and that is opening for this pocket right here with a nice big booklet inside that's not all nice mermaid then you can flip this to the right and then we have a big pocket where i had a booklet that i totally forgot to put some papers on <laughs> and then we have here a nice spot where i put my leftovers on cool totally forgot about that all right then the closure same as we opened it you can slide this under and then this and this holds everything down and inside here also a nice big tag all right then we go to the next page next page i use some fabric to create a nice expandable uh, pocket uh, so you can add yeah lots of things in here no sewing machine needed you can do that but i did not use any sewing machine um nice tags in here and also a nice journal where i added a few pages so you can write something down of course always love that in an album i like to journal all right so let's go to the next page this opens up with this one and this is actually a door closure for the waterfall so on each side you can add a picture of course then you can add your pictures on top and you can add i did not put anything on the left side because it's going to be thicker and thicker each time you put a photo on here but you can add loads of photos in here and then we have a little pocket on the back lots of space guys there we go and then again a nice big tag in here and i added a nice uh one fourth expandable uh, page so you have not worry anything that this waterfall with your pictures will not fit but it's now a little loose because it will get thicker if you add pictures on here of course then let's go to the next page next page is you know i like pockets you know i like to make tags so this page is quite simple um, i just made three pockets one small one with some lovely small tags in here then we have a deeper one with a little journal book nice tag 
with some beads, lots of fun. And then on the back, a big booklet where you also can add your pictures. So it's really simple, but you can add so many things in there. I always love that. Put this not too high, otherwise you don't see it. <laughs> All right, put everything back in. Here we go. I love making these crystals will come back once in a while. All right, so let's go to the next page. The next page, also here in the corner. I do love that. Pearls with some bling bling. Looks like a little treasure. Inside this page. Um, all right, so we see a swing tab that opens this. And then we have some shakers. And these are actually nice windows. So if you put your photo on here, how amazing that will look this way. So you have a nice see through. And then of course this opens up where you have a nice big photo mat on the top and a big pocket inside. Loads of things to put in. Lots of place. And then this all holds back. Big tag in here. And then we go to the last one. All right, this one is so cool. Love that one. Okay, let me show you what this page is. Did this for the first time. So we open this up and then this comes out. And each time you flip up a page, there is more to come. Each time, see, all the way till the end. So cool. And then this flips back, of course, with a little help. With a little help, this falls back inside. Now, I was wondering during the tutorial if I want this this way or like I just did. Perhaps it was better to do it that way so nothing interferes. Now, this, wall, this page will interfere a bit, but that's totally up to you during the tutorial which side you want. Um, but I do like it. I do like it. So you even can do this if you want. Cool. Love it. It was the first time that I did that. It's actually pretty simple. But I will do that uh, more in an album. Alright, so let's go to the last page. Again, big pocket where we made this clear bag. And we did this also. Um, I have two two bags um, that I try out, one with a sewing machine and one without a sewing machine. I love both actually. So pretty fun, which I added to the things that I already made and the leftover pieces. So you can put that in the album and then we have a big photo mat. So I will put this in here. So the person who gets this, get all the stuff that I have left. And this included too, but there's no place for that. All right, so what do you think? What do you think about this album? Oh my gosh, I think it's so fun. There were so many, many items in there that is um, old but new also. I do like it. It's so different. It, it is, it is different. So um, yeah, I hope you liked it and tell me what you think about this and give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, please do. I will be happy to see you as my new subscriber and um, yeah, have a nice day. Till next time.